<laughs> I'm excited. I'm salivating. <laughs> He's salivating. Oh, hey. Thanks for stopping by, Gunner and Chef. Here's Bikes and Byways. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Look That's at that head, man. Galactic Whoa. Cowboy Nitro Imperial Stout <clears throat> by Left Hand Brewing Company, Longmont, Ooh, Colorado. Colorado. Yes. yes. And that it looks like our notes say it's 9% uh, alcohol by volume and 44 IBU. And we do love our Imperial Stouts, don't we, Jim? Yes, we do. And especially one on Nitro. I mean, yay. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. What does it say from our hand, left hand to yours? Yeah, and then over, over here it says super smooth and cosmically dark, which I kind of like that. For earthers, belters, and dusters alike. I'm not sure what the hell that means. Earthers, but. belters, uh -huh. and dusters. And dusters. And then no three, idea. three, two, one, let's jam. The TikTok generation, you might want to go ahead and, you know, make a comment down below. Yeah, help us out. We, we, don't, we don't know modern day vernacular. And just like you don't know what vernacular means. So. Ouch. All right. <laughs> mean. <laughs> Feeling honored today. Oh, boy, it is very roasted smelling, super dark. Mm -hmm. Hell, look at that color. It's like used diesel oil again. Oh, that's my favorite. It kind of reminds me of chocolate milk up top. Yeah, look with at all that the head. Nitro. You roll it around. It's just, mm. man. It says it's good to pour right out of the can, so you don't have to give it a, a twist. It, we, when we popped it open, it, it sounded like it was going to explode. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, but, ah! it, but it was the nitro. <laughs> Doing its nitro happiness. It's cool, bro. 10,000 happinesses to all of you. Like well, and subscribe. I don't know what that, yeah, well, I know what that means. <laughs> I, I don't know what 10,000 happinesses mean. Is that yeah. like 10,000 maniacs? It was on The Simpsons the other day. That was funny. Oh. Mm. Almost couldn't quit drinking that one. Mm hmm. Wow. Do you taste a smoky note in that? Yeah, I'm not really. I don't think I'm getting that just yet, but... It's almost like a Hellas, but stupid dark. I don't know what to say about this. It's very creamy, but it, it, it doesn't have any overpowering flavors at all. Mm -mm. It's just, just a good, smooth blend all the way through. The finish has kind of a dark roasted coffee sort of flavor, just a little, you know, that real dark malt. Mm -hmm. I can sense the bitter difference between a bitter ale and a bitter stout is the bitters coming from the malt kind of cloak the bitters from the IBU. Right, right. Yeah, because the, the hop flavor isn't very dominant. No, it's, it's just not hop dominant at all. No. Wow, that is a magnificent beer. And it, there's there's an implied sweetness to it. There is just a touch, yeah. So I've been been holding out on you, man. Uh oh. I have another can of this. Oh, you sir. It's okay to call him to be followed up with sir. I could drink that every day and be just happy. Happy. Wow, that is really good. And you'd never know that that was a nine. Hmm. It, you know, some of them when they start getting up in the imperial, when you drink it, there's a, a, a dominant alcohol flavor and this doesn't have it it's just creamy and smooth and uh delicious yeah see yeah. very good this one is courtesy of melanie shooty out of uh, colorado melanie you rock thank you this yeah. is a great beer there are good chips and wood chips wood chips wood chips there are there are good chips and wood chips and chips that sail the sea but the best chips is on tv <laughs> I was thinking potato, but... Potato! <laughs> <laughs> May they always be. Amen. I try everything I can do to be stupid. <laughs> and see, it just oozes out of me. I don't even have to try. <laughs>